In the vast expanse of the ocean, beneath the glistening surface lies a phenomenon that captivates both the heart and the mind. The magnificent sardine run. Each year, a breathtaking migration unfolds along the eastern coast of South Africa, transforming the water into a bustling highway of life and energy. The sardine run typically occurs between May and July, when billions of silvery sardines embark on an epic journey from their breathing grounds in the cool waters of the Gullis Bank. Their destination? The nutrient-rich currents of the Indian Ocean. Picture this, a mesmerizing dance of silver bodies moving in perfect harmony, shimmering like liquid silver under the sun's rays. This synchronized ballet is a testament to the power of collective movement as the sardines navigate through the vast oceanic expanse. But the sardine run is not just about the sardines. It's a grand parade that attracts a cast of characters from the depths of the ocean. Dolphins, sharks and seabirds all converge, drawn by the promise of a bountiful feast. It's a true showcase of nature's raw beauty and unfathomable complexity. For generations, the sardine run has been more than just a natural phenomenon. It's a way of life. Coastal communities eagerly anticipate its arrival as it brings with its abundance and vitality to their shores. It isn't just a natural marvel. It's a lifeline for many, providing employment opportunities and a vital food source. Fishermen eagerly await this event, as it is a prime time for a prized catch. For both fishermen and the public, witnessing the sardine is a must-do experience. It's a time of bustling activity, camaraderie and excitement as the nets are dropped. Sardines are pulled out and the crates are full to the brim. The beach becomes a hub of activity with locals and tourists alike drawn to the shores to witness this amazing happening. As the sun sets on another day of the sardine run, it leaves behind a trail of memories etched in the hearts of those who bear witness to its splendor. It's a reminder of the delicate balance of life in our oceans. Let us cherish and protect this marvel of nature, for in its ebb and flow lies the essence of life itself. A symphony of the sea played out in the timeless dance of the sardine run. So take a trip to the south coast and immerse yourself in the magic of the sardine run, an experience that will leave you in awe of the wonderful ocean. Other guys, yeah, so it seems that the Big Bang is here. I've got confirmed reports of sardine uh, close to Port Edward and some little pieces that have made their way past Port Edward. Lots of granites are diving on it, but the guys have confirmed it's sardine and these are reputable guys, uh, seasonal uh, netters uh, that are always on the fish and always netting. They've also confirmed that the sea is very, very big. Um, there's swells up to four meters and I'm sure it's going to go up to about five meters uh, by sometime this afternoon. So yeah, not much netting will take place today. But the sea does settle tomorrow and we should see some action uh, tomorrow, Sunday and Monday. But a lot more sardine just south of Port Edward, all the way from Umkumbati, uh, going to Waterfall Bluff. Uh, there's been a lot of action. Confirmed sightings by divers that are diving in the area and also confirmed from fishermen that are fishing in the area and from other uh, sainetters so uh, that is definitely sardine yes there will be red eye amongst the shoals there will be red eye up uh, further north like Margate Shelley Beach uh, that was there for the last couple of days but yeah sardine definitely around and most of the guys will be going up tomorrow and Sunday uh, to try and intercept those shoals and net them uh, there is some shark activity as well in that part of the world. So yeah guys, see you guys on the coast. Stay tuned uh, to ASFN, like, subscribe and we'll keep you up to date with the most accurate information. Uh, guys, the boys are ready.
Are you? Y'all ready for the sardine? Don't worry. Have a big song. Sunday the 9th, the first net of the season was dropped at Margaret Beach. As the crew holding the net ashore, the shimmering catch of sardines was revealed, marking the beginning of this year's run. First net for the season, 2024! <laughs> Guys. Yeah, first net for 2024. I'm sure we are the first guys in netted and in a horrible, massive sea condition. Some of the worst conditions you can get. And yeah, push the boat in and got the fish. Yeah, that's all we want. First net. <laughs> now the 2024 sardine run kicked off with a bang. And even though a few quiet days followed, you never can tell when it comes to nature. We are hoping for a whole bunch of action-packed footage to come your way soon. Make sure you like this video, share it and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we share some information. Hey yeah, guys, first net 2024. Yeah, first step 2024, Margaret Main Beach, Team V's, Team Chesha Manzi. Yeah, what a net, guys. Yeah. It was a big sea, horrible, horrible conditions. Tried to push the first boat, we couldn't get through a short break. Jumped onto the second boat, got the second boat out, and managed to net uh, Margate Main Beach closer to the rocks. Yeah, what a net! As a guys, yeah, down here at Margate Main Beach, and uh, there's lots of sardine. There is uh, some fish and one or two sharks as well. Let me just show you. But the sardine is stuck in the bay here, yeah? in the corner, right next to the rock. The guys are getting a couple of pulls uh, on, the, on the bait. All that is sardine on the shore bait. Old side on the shoulder. That's where it stops. And that's the net down there. And then another net further down. But yeah, the side is all over. Fresh bait, guys. You live there, you live there. That's the bait, so we're going to ice now for fishing. Come on, 
Stay off the market. Yeah, it's a free for all. It's a free for all. <laughs> Monday, June 10th, commenced with spectacular aerial footage, capturing vast shoals of sardines near the Margate area, accompanied by scenes of people using cast nets to catch sardines from the beach. Guys, okay, so it's Monday morning, and uh, Tony and the guys of Moonlight managed to get a net here in Abu Kababa corner. There's a lot of fish around uh, in between the rocks on the shore break. Uh, we have seen a few sharks, no one's fishing as yet, uh, so there should be action if you guys get down and put a bait out. But yeah, first net for this morning, so well done to the guys from Moonlight. Two monster nets, one here and one behind us on that side. This is Bees 1 and that's Moonlight, two monster nets here and Amkobaba. So we're in Amkobaba corner and two big, big, big nets. Yeah guys, I don't think we're having a blast in Amkobaba. Guys, yeah, the locals got a nice fish on here. Get on to Baba. Young man, what do you have to say, young man? Hey, tired. No, the fish must be tied. You can't be tied. How big fish? What fish do you think it is? Kingfish. Yeah. And you're enjoying the fight. How long, how long you been on? Left, I think it's left than, left than an hour, but more than 30 minutes. More than 30 minutes, yeah. We got a strong feeling to think it was in the phone, yeah. Nice fish. We're gonna bend on the road. We had this fight event for half an hour. We'll come back to the gentleman. Uh, I believe some netting happening down there. Guys, here on Kibala, let me a nice fish. And right up there. The live guys also watching on them, make sure they're safe. That is a beautiful fish. Well done, guys. Well done to the angler. Nice fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice one. Do we have a seat? The day progressed with sardines appearing all along the south coast, culminating in dramatic footage 
of sharks nearly beaching themselves on the rocks in pursuit of the silvery fish. sardine activity here. Jace has put a net out so it looks like there's a lot of fish there and it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> How's it, guys? Yeah. Watch out, sir. How's it? Get, how's it? Okay. As you can see, it's sardine all over the place. <laughs> it's an old ocean full of sardine. As for this one here, I'm gonna give him a second chance. We'll let him go again. Then we have <laughs> Craig Bashford sign his luck at Say Netting. <laughs> yeah. Well Craig is the only netter on this beach and he's getting quite a bit of sardine. <laughs> Uh, okay, go, 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 okay. No, 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 don't duff. Full net, full net. Let's go. Uh, let's see his skills. There he goes. Let's see what he gets in this. <laughs> ah, that's a lot of sardine. Well done, Craig. <laughs> oh, Craig, there's more netters there with bigger lots of fish. <laughs> yeah guys yeah awesome scenes down here on Kmas lots and lots and lots of netting taking place lots of sardine uh, they're just all over the place I drove the beach this morning and every beach I look I just saw sardine uh, guys are having a blast down here beautiful scenes Quality, quality, quality. And that just goes on. So guys, yeah, this is actual footage of what you have to go through to get this fish. 
So we're gonna punch through the surf now. Big shore break. And we're gonna go through it now. Massive, massive, massive shore break. As you can see, bang! Actually show you how netting takes place and how dangerous it is. Nets are getting ready and these nets are going to be cast out. Find a piece inside. Okay, let's go for it then. on the ropes. And that's how our net is costed, guys. Very, very dangerous conditions. And yeah, that's how it goes. So that's how our net is pulled. I think the fish is the net. Another rope on the other side. Oh. As you can see, how the bridge is singing. It's going up now for about 10 minutes. This is on LD60 Daiwa Tournament. June 2024, spots for a point. A lot of shad coming out. Beautiful morning. Got some sardine boats out. Um, they're scouting, but I don't think you can see any shoals as yet. So a lot of shad coming out, guys.
Saturday, June 15, began slowly with several nets dropped at Pennington, all coming up empty. However, as the afternoon wore on, the first successful net was dropped, followed by a second and a third, each brimming with sardines. How's it guys? Yeah, what a day, Saturday. Thousands of people on the beach came to see the sardines. But this is what we're chasing. Small little sardines, and unfortunately, that is too small. It'll actually go through the eye of the net. So I surrounded a big shoal now, and they all swam through. But yeah, that's what we're chasing the whole day, guys. Small little sardine. Uh, this one got caught in net because it was stuck sideways. But there's a lot of fish out there. Guys, as you can see, another shoal of sardine close to shore. We've got two boats racing in there to try and get to the sardine. The guys are flying towards it. First boat on it. And I got the net now. Got the first net. Got the second net. Two nets in the water. First boat coming up. Second boat's coming up. And this is at Pennington. Other guys, yeah, another awesome mess here at Pennington. Waited the whole day for it. Well, this net probably about 150 baskets of beautiful sardines. Make your way down here. And for the answer of the there should be some sharks here this evening. It's your third net here for today, so make your way down here. And for anglers, an unseen yet memorable spectacle. But the sardine run doesn't always end every day in a spectacular display. In the first week of the sardine run this year, we pay tribute to Gulam and Sandili who lost their lives. Two custodians known by most involved with the sardine run. For years they formed part of the body of netters that follow the sardines every year. ASFN would like to give our condolences to their friends and family, and they will be truly missed by many.